So I'm the bigger Diego out of the two of us, but not a lot of people know this. Diego Morales used to weigh a couple more pounds. Yeah, but you know, he put a lot of hard work, a lot of effort into his physique, and he looks great. He looks good, right? But I feel kind of bad because I don't think he realizes no matter how much he weight lifts, he'll never get his hairline back. <laughs> Man, I'm getting a text message right now. Uh, it's from his belt loop. It says, help. <laughs> so Diego's father passed away several years ago. great job at honoring his legacy and memory through jokes and comedy. I think he's done a great job and uh, you know he even got a tattoo to remember his father by. I think that's beautiful. So beautiful in fact that I got a tattoo of what his dad looks like now. <laughs> Crazy man, I don't know. When y'all were laughing so hard at that, his shirt said. <laughs> I like Diego. Not a lot of people do. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> He's a controversial guy in the scene. He he uh he causes a lot of drama, you know. But I don't know where he's burned more bridges in comedy or with his baby mamas. Man, y'all give it up for Diego. He's the most successful virgin comedian that I've ever had. Thank you guys, it means a lot. Besides Dante, I'm the most successful virgin comedian. Diego runs a semi-successful comedy show called Someone's Daughter. And I think it's really cool, you know, but I don't know, it, it features all females. I don't know if he's doing it to promote all the great female talent that we have in this community, or if he's just trying to prove to the judge of Dallas County that he is safe around his own daughters. <laughs> oh that was good, that was good, man. But you know what, my daughters will never be half the woman he is. I'm sorry if, I'm a little, if I appear a little unprepared. Last joke, last joke, sorry. Oh, thank you so much for worthy. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem a little unprepared. A lot of my jokes are still under construction. But Diego's family knows all about that. <laughs> That's how you know he's a coconut. That boy don't know no Spanish, man. Right? The only action Diego Rangel gets is when his mom walks in on him checking on. Get over these two, everyone! One more time! Here you go, first. Alright, so we're gonna switch the order this time. Fuck, I wish. This is fucking, this is hard because, like, like, Diego Morales, I know you are, like, you're one of my favorite wrestlers in the scene, and, I, I like, most of your really good, like you, instead of doing rebuttals, most of your good roast were the rebuttals, and you just hand off the mic, and that's impressive. Rango, I mean, you fucking wrote jokes, like you wrote some good ass. I don't, I, I don't know. I was very excited. For those that don't know, Rango filled in for Chris Hopkins. It was gonna be Chris Hopkins versus Diego, and I was like, with Chris and Diego, I was like, man, it's gonna go down. And when Rango joined us, like, it's gonna go down syndrome. <laughs> And then Diego walked in and told me, man, I ain't even written jokes. He's chewing gum. He's, yeah. Diego, bro, if, if he's a coconut, you're a cocaine nut, you know? You're, 
that jaw, your jaw looks like it could finish the Oregon Trail. I mean, God, you have more cane than Paul over here. He has a cane. Okay, so, fuck, dude. It, it's hard because it's, it's about writing versus rebuttals. It's like, what do I like more, the prep or off top? I, I'm, fuck. Bro, you're gonna hate, like, Rick, you were prepared though. Like, Diego Rick, like, he wrote, like, honestly, bro, I thought this was gonna be a runaway. I did not think Diego, good fucking God. I, <laughs> I yeah, SpongeBob oval pants over here. I did not think. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, bro, dude, Diego Morales is one of the best roasters in the scene. I believe that. I just think Rangel, with the last second ready, and, and you covered more than, like, fat, you covered a lot of topics. I am giving it to Rangel right now. I, <laughs> that was close as fuck. And the rebuttals, I think they're, that shows how strong a roaster he is. I just like writing, so that's where I'm at. All right, hell yeah, give it up for two Diego's one cup, everyone. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, <laughs> one Diego's never had sex, the other one only pays for it. So, um... <laughs> oh my goodness, man, that was really fucking close. I gotta... I gotta, I gotta go off of a, what Joey said because it took him eight minutes to get his fucking thoughts together. So, um, yeah, I, I have all to, eight minutes to get on stage. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to. You know what, man? Uh, I loved your quick rebuttals, uh, Morales. The belt loop, bro. That, that had me Harlem shaking back here, bro. I was fucking shaking, man. Uh, I love the half a woman because uh, Diego Rangel does have some titties. So. Um, <laughs> Wearing a training bra. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have to give it a tie. Diego Rango, you wrote some great jokes. First off, give a round. He worked a shift here tonight. He wrote jokes, worked a shift, and he still gained ten pounds. So like that's fucking incredible. But uh, I, I have to give it a tie. So I'm gonna give it up to Andy Franco for the tiebreaker. Oh really? You put this shit on me? Right. Great. Because, uh, first off, has uh, anyone noticed this looks like a before and after picture right here? <laughs> <laughs> before, yeah. I mean before and after prison. Don't, yeah, get, no. don't, get, don't get to... Uh, Rangel's <laughs> HIV yeah. morale is just yeah. fucking full blown. <laughs> but all the uh, ICE. God damn, dude. It's, it, I'm not going to lay it right. It's really hard because... Uh, Rango, uh, really great joke writing. I will admit some of the, sh the, the, the punchlines took forever to get to. You know, uh, I've seen you eat faster than that. So that was. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling, are you telling Rango, are you telling him to trim the fat? Because. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. He was like about to cry. Uh, and it's weird. I don't want to make him sad. I want to make him mad. You know, he's. <laughs> he looks like he wants to eat my ass. He wants to beat my ass. I don't know which one's worse. Uh, but, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but uh, I'll be honest, man, I was gonna give it to uh, uh, Rangel until the the comeback with the uh, half the woman joke, that uh, was just well executed. Uh, so I'm gonna go with, it's so hard, I'm gonna go Morales, I'm gonna go with Diego Morales. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Give it one more time for both the Diego's, everybody, yes! Good job, good job. Great job. Hey guys, that's still a tie. We need a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker! All right, I'll be the tiebreaker. <laughs> Who's talking? Uh, the GM. No. <laughs> do not post that. Want them to do, do not post that, that man, if you ever want to work here. I didn't come here to see no ties. All right. Team Dallas. Right. This is all Dallas in the tie. There's three judges. Because he it's not a tie. There's three judges. No, well, we both. Do you guys know how fucking numbers work? <laughs> he never picked shit. You didn't pick? You guys you went picked for real. You guys both went for real. Go back up. Okay. You went for the tie, go. meaning you went for All right, yeah, get the fuck right, back whatever. up there. Get the fuck, I guess. I thought, do you, I thought Morales won right there. I thought he yeah. said that. All right, I don't. <laughs> all right, Joey, all right. Yeah. Joey, you picked Rangel. I and picked Rangel. And then Paul came made it a tie. And then, and, oh. then, and then he made it, he get, that's I still thought, a tie. I thought him saying Morales is making it a tie, oh, okay. and he made it a tie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. I thought that was right. Go back up, one last joke, everyone. One last joke, all right, one more round of applause. This is it. This is a, a lot like a Republican election right now. There's a recount, baby. I was gonna say, in the Diego's, isn't that what Trump called the Alamo? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, grab the mic, one last joke. Rango, 
else on you? God damn it. I accepted it, guys. I accepted it. it Seeing Diego in the red hat really confuses me because we're talking about all this Republican shit, but there you go. That's the trouble. That's... No, uh, I am half Hispanic and I'm half white, but seeing Diego in the hat just reminded me how much I really do hate Mexicans. <laughs> Tiebreaker, baby! Good job. Arriba mi raza. <laughs> Diego Rangel was downloading how to be a transgender woman, but his Wi-Fi got cut off. <laughs> Diego Rangel, it's so appropriate after that crash and burn, that belt looks like a seat belt. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I think I, I, that was, I think I'll head to go with Morales. Yeah. Morales, everybody. Diego Morales. Make anti-climatic great again. <laughs> Good job. You almost had it, you fat fuck. All right, guys. Are you guys ready for a last roast battle of the evening? Yes! Oh, one more time. Are you guys ready? Hell yeah! All right, these two are really good friends of mine. Give it for hilarious Mikey B and Carrie Smith, everybody! Oh, yeah.